What is up guys, Zan from Forward Progress Madden, and we are back today on the defensive side of the ball, and we are going to be talking about how to defend the mainstream st uh, style of formation. So we're talking compression, gun split close, gun bunch weak, gun snugs. All these formations are compression based sets, and they can effectively beat man coverage over the middle on crossers, they can flood zones. They have skinny posts that get open over the top for one play touchdowns. And because of all these different threats that they have, it makes it difficult to defend all of it together. And that's why you see players running these formations. So we're not going to actually break down any particular play, but we are going to talk about a strategy that I like to use. And it's a concept that you can employ in whatever defensive formation that you like to use to hopefully help you better stop some of these formations. So. Let's go ahead on offense and choose the gun snugs formation. Uh, we're going to go ahead and choose the play. Um, let's go ahead and choose the play slot post. Now, I'm not saying that this particular alignment is going to work, but this is a strategy that I use from the formations that I run. Um, you can choose basically anything you want. What I like to do is go in and choose some sort of zone blitz, whether it be a uh, safety blitz or a corner blitz and as you can see here we have a good one here in the prowl slant three seam so we'll go ahead and call this now if we let this uh, auto flip which we don't want to do that um, what we want to do is kind of pay attention to the formation that we're facing and know who the threat of the crosser would be so in this formation we're facing snugs and we know typically that if we were to be guessing what player is on the crossing pattern, we know that Baldwin, the A receiver, could be running the post in this play, the, the shot post, or we also know that there are skinny posts in which the B receiver get open. So what I like to do is I like to choose a zone blitz, and I like to make sure that my blitzers are on the opposite side of the field as the threats that we think are going to be running these crossers. So what I'll do is I'll take one of these blitzers, Tyran Matthew, and place him in man coverage on Baldwin. And then I'll take the other, the safety, Justin Bethel, and put him in man coverage on Richardson. Now, the other thing is we're running a zone play. So if our opponent were to be running a breaking out route from either of these two spots, at least we have zone coverage to the right side of the field. Now, if they cross the field, then that's great. So what a lot of players like to do is they like to do something like this. They like to use Y and X as decoys and try to hit A. And as you can see here, the honey badger is, you know, gets schooled. But that is the, the risk that you want to take with this play. You're going to have a guy in position on that post. We know that players like to try to get that post wide open. And if they do uh, throw that, it's going to be covered. So we'll go ahead and run it again. Notice how the post breaks right into Honey Badger, and it's a stop. Now that last catch, for example, was was not the most lucky, but you know that happens. Sometimes the dice rolls will turn up where the receiver is going to catch the ball. Now let's talk about other plays. So we also know that wide receiver crosses is a popular play. So maybe you choose something that if you don't know which guy is going to be crossing the field, maybe you choose some sort of um, blitz in which you have both of the slot corners coming off the edge. Now in the big dime 146 we do not have that so I'll go ahead and simulate that the best I can. We're going to choose DB Sting to buzz um, and then just go ahead and zone these guys out. You can blitz your outside linebackers just to kind of give you some sort of uh, cover two look. Now we would think to ourselves well there's a threat that Baldwin's going to cross so we'll take this guy and put him in main coverage and then we will go and place the honey badger on Lockett, who we know could possibly be on the post. Now, if they run this play, they go to throw this post route, we've got zone and man coverage on it, and the ball is going to be picked off. So, this is what I like to do. I like to choose these hybrid man zone plays, and what you do is you just choose some sort of zone blitz to disguise what you're actually doing. The, if, the benefits of choosing a zone blitz is actually twofold. Your opponent goes back to the post play and they see, oh, they ran DB fire two blitz on me. Let me go ahead and call something that beats this cover two blitz. Well, when you actually get on the field, it's not really the play that they saw in the post play menu. 
you're you're doing a lot of adjusting out of it. So um, your opponent oftentimes will be over analyzing what they're seeing in the previous play menu, and that can work to their detriment. So think about this next time you're facing compression. Know who the crossers could be. Know uh, who might be you know if your opponent's placing guys on drags or slants. Go ahead and man him up from the opposite side and see if that helps you. Uh, if nothing else, it's going to disrupt the timing. You'll get a couple extra coverage sacks out of it. And what I'm talking about when I talk about this type of uh, this type of, of style of offense is these compression-based sets. You just have to get used to who the threats are. So when I when I'm talking about that, I'm saying, okay, so if you face this, you just know, hey, when We'll go ahead and flip this. So this is coming off the left side. You just have to know, hey, I'm facing vertical. I'm facing uh, gun bunch weak. I have to be prepared for not only verticals, um, but we have to be prepared for Z spot. So maybe you do something like this uh, to hedge your bet on verticals. You put Matthew on Lockett. Uh, you put Minter on Graham in case they're running PA post and they want to hit that little slant right over the middle. And then you also maybe go over here and do something with golden on Baldwin in case they're running the skinny post. Now from there you could just get really adjusted, do something on this side with all your zones and maybe you lurk with this player. It's all about confusing so for instance if your opponent were to do you know everybody's favorite combination routes you know at least Lockett is covered we can't throw this crossing route to Lockett there's no chance. So that's a route that's very hard to defend uh, and it can be simply shut down by choosing a zone blitz flipping it so it's away from the, the crosser and manning up that guy on the opposite side. So if you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will be back tomorrow with another Madden 17 tip. Until tomorrow, this is Zan, get in the lab, and good luck.